most guys past maybe 25 are like embarrassed to take their shirt off because they just don't look that great. Also, you know, I'm not a bodybuilder. Like, I mean, this is the condition that I'm still basically in. It's on the cover of the book. <laughs> Guys, if, if you're just listening, he holds up a book. I'm not a bodybuilder. And he's got his shirt off. <laughs> and I mean, he, he's like twice as ripped as I am. I mean, I'm, I'm at, I just measured him at 5.4% body fat last night. But you have probably twice the muscle mass I do because you spend more time on it than I do. I don't think I do, actually. I, really? In fact, I, yeah, I got a screenshot for it. In the entire year of 2023, I worked out for 14 hours and 43 minutes. There you go. See? That's in a year. <laughs> I'm 20 minutes a week all in on all of my exercise. Yeah. I mean, that's, that's like right there. Like, you know, it's a very small amount of time. Now, I, I busted my ass in that 14 hours, but that's spread out over a year. So um, mm -hmm. that's sort of all of the efficiency of variable resistance. And, and so when I'm, when I'm able to apply a higher level of force in stronger positions of an exercise and a lower level of force in the more compromised positions of exercise, well, then I can go to a greater level of fatigue and trigger more growth. Now, this is the type of muscle growth that is muscle protein synthesis. Is I, I think a lot of people in fitness discussions, they really don't realize that there's two types. Well, there's really three types of muscle growth. One's really hard to get, uh, but there's sarcoplasmic and myofibril. Myofibril is where you're basically getting st stronger by definition, like in the moment, because you have more mechanical structures within the cell, more actin and myosin that come together. And that's what actually creates the shortening of the muscle the contraction. The other type of muscle growth is sarcoplasmic. So meaning um, th that's like, so the first kind is more like the engine that is the muscle and sarcoplasmic is more like the gas tank. So you can have a bigger gas tank too uh, by forcing more blood into the muscle on a frequent basis. Therefore, the muscle decides, okay, we're going to store more fuel within the muscle. So that's ATP, glycogen, and creatine phosphate. So those are the three fuels that sit in the muscle when you compound what's you know generally known as volume training. Uh, and this is not a shortcut. This takes a lot of time. So that kind of thing is also amazing with variable resistance. Uh, variable resistance produces the same exact muscle size results that regular training does, but you get so much stronger with variable resistance. You're listening to The Human Upgrade with Dave Asprey.